one of the most valuable resources we have is our children and the amount of harm that's being done by the things going on in the world with this virus is nothing compared to what's going on and most people are waking up to that it's crazy to see your everyday person waking up to what's going on and this is a subject that I don't like to think about or talk about because in the early days of my research finding out stuff that I found out is so heartbreaking that you will lose sleep and here lately it's been on my heart to speak up for these precious little children and show some things that are more sinister and how it originates. A lot of the things I'm seeing on the news are making me really angry. Like the other day, I don't watch the news, but people share this stuff on Facebook and I go through the truth or accounts that I've connected with to kind of follow what they share. And I see things like this. Your MSM, mainstream media, blaming this rise in trafficking on the virus. You have to be kidding me with this nonsense. I don't care how serious you look, what kind of suit you're wearing, this stuff is nothing new. This isn't some rich guy problem. The things that have been going on with the whole Epstein case, some of you have dug deep into that. It involves military clearance. People who have ran, allegedly ran this country. We know they don't. They're all just puppets. It involves higher level stuff. And the reason it does is not because, oh, there's a business for it and there's people that are willing to pay money and all that. That might be a small, small percentage of it. But this stuff goes way back to the things that anger our father the most. And that's why they've made this pact to carry out these things and do that. And now that most of us are waking up to it and more people are praying about it, that's why you're seeing things happen. But there's a reason that you're not seeing any coverage about the victims released and all of that stuff. And it's because the same powers own the media. They own a lot of things. The, the things that we see, it's kind of like we see a false, that's not kind of, we really do. We see a false reality that they give us of the world and what we live on and who we are. But it has not changed. The child sacrifice then and now is the same thing. Now it's more of a business. And you hear from the people like a former Satanist that I heard do an interview said that occasionally they will work there at these little Planned Parenthood types of places to meet their child sacrifice quota. Why would they do that? What does that have to do with anything? related to their practices well that's the biblical part of it when you read back to books like the book of enoch where it says the demons or the fallen this is what they taught mankind the wicked smitings of spirits and demons and the smitings of embryo in the womb that it may pass away that was taught to mankind before the flood and it's still happening today. It's those powers of darkness we are fighting against that we were warned about. And a lot of you are seeing things that just seem like a shock because you're just now waking up to this stuff. And many of us have been awake to this for a while and trying to tell you, look, they're targeting your children. Oh, you're a conspiracy theorist. They love me. Disney loves me. DreamWorks would never do anything like that. They make these cartoons with these cute, smiling, happy little critters. Well, if you haven't seen this and what's going on, I'll just tell you it's basically something that belongs in an adult toy store, even though those places should be destroyed. They are something that is put on the shelves for your children to explore, and it does promote things that are sinister. I'll just give you that clue. I'm sure you've probably seen it, but um, that happened, and those same people that run those companies we've been warning people about are not good people and what they do and the sacrifices they make to get where they are like i've said is something you don't want to even fathom but it's real and you need to be angry and you need to pray and know that we're in a war i'm not going to be gloom and doom because we are going to be victorious these people their day is coming
they have reaped their temporary rewards that are around the corner and will not survive what's to come. They're going to have a pretty sad little ending and the punishment will be just, to say the least. Now, if you are following the news with a certain person, you know there's some weird things going on and allegations. I'm not going to say he's guilty, but I'm going to use an example from something I came across the other day to point out how this stuff's been going on longer than just the last decade. This comes from a story where they are saying this man here, who's moved to Greece, nothing, nothing shady about that, even though, as many have pointed out, that's where it's like a sanctuary for pedophiles, where they can live and, and even draw a check for their disability of being a pedophile, which is what's moving this direction. You've seen it happen in the news, CNN, all these places saying, oh, you should feel sorry for them. And he's one of those people. He's over there, and I saw a story where he is up to be the next Mr. Geppetto in a Pinocchio film coming out. They're just they're running out of their satanic movies, and they're starting to put the old satanic movies out. And I never knew that movie was bad. The stuff we watched when we were asleep, I don't know how we missed some of the things we did. But it was pointed out that he's going to be playing Mr. Geppetto. Well, when you read the storybook, of Pinocchio or watch the cartoon there is a rich man who offers some money and I'm just going to read this to you because it's hard to see on this uh, little picture of the book here that I found but it says in a nearby tavern honest John and Gideon were meeting with the coachman it's funny they call him honest John give him a name to make him sound like he's this honest person and it says who liked to lure boys to pleasure island can't make this up the coachman promised honest john and gideon money if they would help him find some boys look at all that gold getting these people to work the maxwells the ones that have the submarine license the island that's on top of a submarine base military submarine base the things that we just thought, wow, this is kind of new stuff because of the internet. Not, no, this has been going on. Pinocchio, I believe, what was it, 1940s when that stuff started coming out? How long ago was that? I don't know. Long time ago. And they are putting the truth in plain sight. The enemy, I think, has to. It must be part of their, their deal is we're going to do all this and we're going to put it in plain sight. And people are going to be so deceived, they're not even going to look into it. But people are waking up. That's why you're seeing the narrative change and the focus be driven back towards the second wave and all the stuff they're trying to scare us into. And I know that many of you are angry, like I was when I found out that I'm going to have to go back to work, wear a mask all day long, my students are going to have to, and it's heartbreaking trying to imagine seeing them come back with their fear and them believing the stuff that they're influenced to believe. It's tough. It's, t it's a hard pill to swallow. And... You're seeing people, because I used to wonder, how on earth could people receive this mark to buy and sell? Why would they not just deny it? But you're seeing them tell us, here, put on a mask. And it's the same It's the same scenario, or you can't come in here and buy and sell. And we're doing it. We're just easily doing that. Some of us, not all of us. Some people are fighting against it. And that is nothing to worry about. It is good news to know that we are getting closer to that end goal when we're watching their tricks get called out and we're seeing them still try them desperately because it's almost too late. I know they have more tricks to come, but the Bible tells us other things that have been happening as well, like the Great River Euphrates drying up in Revelation. I wonder if people are aware that it's been drying up. This is well documented. It's been drying up for almost a decade now. so. That's our hourglass. Clock is ticking, and there are more deceptions around the corner. Deceptions that I thought, surely not, and a lot of people put out those little memes like, come on, we're waiting for the alien deception. This fire stuff is boring. But brace yourselves, guys. It's like what the word tells us when it says, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon, and out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophets. It says, for they are the spirits of devils working miracles. 
which go forth unto the kings of the earth and to the whole and of the whole world. Hmm. They're going forth to these kings and the whole world. Well, what looks a lot like frogs? Aliens. It's in their hands. And look back at what Aleister Crowley said when he said, Today they call them angels and demons. Tomorrow they will call them something else. This is what the demon looked like that manifested to him, allegedly. Just like the aliens we see on TV. There is a reason they are programming us to believe the things we believe about what we live on, who we are, what's out there. And it's to set up something extremely deceptive. When the word tells us every eye will see when there's a return, it only makes sense when we know what we live on. The false one they're going to try to pull off most likely will involve their model and their entities doing their workings of miracles. Warn as many as you can. This stuff is real. It's a battle going on. And if you don't know about who this guy is that said these things, he's a sinister person who is partly responsible for promoting a lot of the types of things that have gone on with the children, the sacrificing and all of that. It was all about that to get the world. That was the sacrifice. For us that want to lose the world, a sacrifice has already been made and it is sufficient to get what we don't deserve. That's why we are here and you guys have done an amazing job helping us share that news. It's the best news we could have. Have no fear. These things are going to happen. Be of great joy and spread that light and that love. Just like the Messiah did when he looked at people that were lost. He looked at them like lost sheep and he had compassion. Have compassion. You see people wearing masks. They are afraid. Have compassion. Love them. Assure them it's going to be okay. We are in this. This is not a new normal. I, can't, I know you guys can't stand that quote. We are changing the norm and bringing light where it belongs. Darkness can't stand where the light is. Battle's almost over, guys, but it is about to get real in terms of what you're about to see, and you're going to watch people fall for it, and it's our job to wake them up. So I thank you guys for helping us wake people up. This is not easy, and I don't take, say this stuff lightly. We are definitely fighting powers of darkness, and I can't wait to see you guys on the other side or somewhere sooner along the way. I just wanted to point out some things that the mainstream people who are waking up to this stuff may not have seen yet in terms of how far back it goes. It goes way back. Thanks for being a blessing to us and giving us your support. We are definitely experiencing some crazy things with the shadow ban and our videos, getting that label of inappropriate for advertisers and all of that. They're trying to really just stop the work that we're doing, and it's not working. You guys are, are jumping in there and helping us out when we need it. So I thank you, especially our patrons who have came through and given their support in a way that allows us to keep doing what we're doing. I love you guys, and I will see you guys very soon. Stay ready. Stay safe. God bless.